In this most challenging of times, Step Change in Safety is continuing to work closely with all industry stakeholders with the aim of mitigating the impact on safety created by COVID-19. We know that the response to the situation will, be, will continue to be far reaching. We also recognise that for offshore helicopter travel, essential changes have been introduced. These changes to what had become a routine practice for us all can result in heightened anxiety and raise concerns amongst the workforce. With this in mind, we've been working jointly with OG UK to develop this essential question and answers film, which is intended to address a number of the workforce concerns that have become known to us through our network group, OG UK, member companies, the HSE, the unions and the media. We hope to provide greater, greater clarity and reduce any heightened anxiety levels caused by the introduction of these necessary changes. Please share it with your colleagues and your families. We are in unprecedented and indeed worrying times for us all as we continue to focus on the safe operations of our industry through the coronavirus pandemic, while also thinking about our family, our friends and colleagues and their health and safety too. This is an industry with health and safety at its core, and now more than ever, we shall all need to work together to raise and address concerns, to share clear information and to support each other. OG UK, working with Step Change in Safety, your companies, governments and regulators are working hard to address the issues arising in what is a challenging and fast changing environment. Our people in this industry do extraordinary work in providing the energy and products the country needs to power our hospitals, to support those essential trips and to keep us all warm. So it's important that we all work together to keep you safe at work. We've set up a dedicated hub on our website to answer your questions and are working with your companies to address concerns. As ever, safety is for all of us and it's upon each and every one of us to raise concerns whenever and wherever you see them. All four helicopter operators have been in discussion with the Pandemic Steering Group at Oil & Gas UK and have all agreed that the same processes will take place at each terminal uh, with regards to offshore screening. So over the last three weeks, uh, all four helicopter operators have participated in the Oil & Gas UK Pandemic Steering Group to align on operating procedures and processes. The aim of this is to ensure a common approach and, where possible, mirror processes across each of the operations. Um, due to the physical location and layout of each helicopter's operator's facilities, the methods in which the testing are being completed may vary slightly. However, they have one common purpose, and that's in helping to identify potential risks and mitigating the spread of the virus. Each helicopter operator operates one type of aircraft for the transportation of Category C symptomatic passengers coming back from an offshore installation. Depending on the size of this aircraft will determine how many passengers can be carried on any one flight. It will be classed as a medevac and we must maintain a two metre separation between the passengers on board the aircraft and the crew. This gives greater flexibility to the likes of the S-92 and AW-189 aircraft, but less flexibility when we go down to H-175, AW-139 and AS-365 aircraft, which are mainly based in the Southern North Sea. So the need for the dedicated aircraft now being flown in response to the coronavirus was determined by the Pandemic Steering Group in association with the helicopter operators. The number of passengers they can carry depends on the type of helicopter that's being used, each of the helicopter operators approved risk assessments and operational procedures, and they need to follow the national medical guidance on social distancing. The aircraft will land at its standard operating base, 
and it will be offloaded by ground staff wearing appropriate PPE. The passenger themselves will not be processed through the helicopter terminal to avoid any contact with outgoing passengers. However, a company or employee representative will meet the passenger outside the helicopter terminal for onward transportation. So all passengers returning from offshore under these special conditions arrive at one of the airports that routinely service the oil and gas industry. Arrangements for reception and onward transportation are then coordinated by the employing company and its topside medical provider. You should view any contact with a confirmed case on an offshore installation, similar to that if you are onshore. Did you work directly with the person? Did you share a cabin with them? Did you have meetings with them? Did you sit at lunchtime with them? That makes you, in effect, a category B passenger who, are, who is then asymptomatic but not showing any signs. Therefore, you should be in isolation and it will be then up to the duty holder of the installation to arrange for you to get transport back to the, to the beach. Uh, providing that effective confinement of any infected workers is adhered to and any contact with those people is avoided, then remaining workers can travel on normal crew change flights. Yeah. That would entirely depend on the duty holder of the installation on whether they decide to isolate you offshore or whether they want you shipped back as soon as possible. They would then contact the helicopter operator who would arrange for an aircraft to come out and collect those passengers. So if you're displaying mild symptoms, uh, you can wear and operate an immersion suit and the life jacket, and you're able to egress the helicopter unaided, then you would travel ashore in one of the dedicated helicopters at the first opportunity. The heliport staff are subject to the same questions that an offshore uh, worker would be on where they have been and their history in the recent future. And they are also temperature checked on a daily basis before they start work. If they were to show any symptoms at all, then they would be dispatched from the base and asked to go home. Procedures between each of the helicopter operators do tend to vary based on their location and the facilities that are available but the majority of heli heliport staff are undergoing regular screening to prevent the spread of the virus. The facilities available to passengers vary between helicopter operators and where possible separate facilities are being made available. 